gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. That's right, we're on the dirt bike. Neil, Ollie and Rupert, <clears throat> we're doing a little uh, run out to, I don't know, I can't remember what it's called, Hartford, Wallam, Wellham, Waltham Cross, Wellham Green, one of the two, anyway. Right, well, it's been a long time. It's been three months or since I've been on the bike. <clears throat> Let's see what's going on, shall we? Well then, I've clipped my microphone onto my dango. Let's see how it sounds, shall we? I can feel the wind on my lips, so it ain't gonna be good. It has got a foam muffler on it. It hasn't got a full on dead cat though. Cause I didn't want it tickling my lip, innit? On my nose. And it's literally right by my mouth. So excuse the heavy breathing that you're gonna experience today. I'm already out of gears. I rode the Duke of, like a week ago. And it's considerably faster than this is, as you can well imagine. So Neil's on the FE 350, Rupert's on the Toe Rag 660, Ollie's on the, uh, what's it called? The FE 350, I'm on the EXCF 250. Oh, I don't like it. Look how bloody muddy it is. And as I said, this is the first ride since I broke my hip, and yeah, this is weird. The engine braking on this bike is nuts. Like, is nut nuts. Ain't 690 bad though, damn! That thing tried to kill me so many times. Alright, I've got to take it easy because I haven't warmed up. Woo! It's about as good as I get anyway, so yeah, I'm already warmed up, I guess. Let's pop this one. No, yeah, too high gear. Not enough revs. Woo! I remember the bottom of this one, but well, I think I do. It's real bad. Thank you. That was jolly nice of them to not be knobheads on my first ride out. I am such a mouth breather when I've got goggles on. They just push on my nose and <laughs> impede the flow of air. I don't remember this lane at all. Ooh. Woo. Yeah, I don't remember this lane at all. Huh. Right on the helmet. Top one, not bottom one. So I've had three months off due to injury, right? Uh, and I was thinking about this on the drive down. You know what? I've got, if I was new to this, maybe that would have been a big deal. But I would suggest that I've got enough experience now that having three months off isn't even a thing. Like you don't forget how to ride a bike in three months. You just, your body's not used to the, maybe the exercise or the, the pressures, all that sort of shit. I can't even think. Um, yeah, maybe it's just that. So I know how the bike works. I know how I work. Got to be careful of the old, uh, Oh, it's this one. Oh, that was wet. This one where we went through the, uh, through that river last time, because there was a tree down there. We had a guard of T7 that kept crashing. He was a good rider though, very good rider. Woo, it was here. That's where we came out in that little uh, crossing creaky bit. I'm tired already. Smooth. Oh! Whoa, shit balls. Oh! In one.
so probably I think it's 99.9% .9 of you lot of blokes what I always do say ladies gentlemen boys and girls uh, so for everybody what other videos do you watch on YouTube apart from motorbike videos of oh yeah apart from motorbike vids I personally like to watch knife making videos quite partial to the odd restoration video too um, yeah that's what I like to watch and I'll watch gaming videos yep Woo! mostly Call of Duty videos and why do I watch Call of Duty videos because I flipping love it that's why I love it yeah me and my boy play I quite like Destiny 2 as well but it's very complicated and I don't understand what I'm doing but I got the principles of it's a shooter I get that I'm good at being a shooter on it but I haven't got very good weapons. I don't know how to get the weapons. I don't know how to make them like everyone else's weapons. Yeah, it's just too confusing. And then, yeah, and me and my boy play Call of Duty together, so that's kind of my passion. We shoot together. I don't watch shooting videos. I seldom do I watch shooting videos. I'm a shooter, I've got guns. I'm a motorbiker, I've got motorbikes. I'm a gamer, I've got game consoles. Um, yeah, I don't watch shooting videos, really. I watched a new vid a little while ago on a Bagara a new rifle because my Remington 700 is very heavy and my boy's 12 and I was thinking about getting a gun a little bit more suited to him and the new Bagara, I can't remember the name, is quite a bit smaller but actually, damn man, it feels like a, oh, will I get banned for this? It's got like AR weight to it and, mo and mobility. Like there's none of that pendulum swing at the end because of the big heavy barrel and the heavy stock, it's lovely lightweight barrel and all that but yeah uh, I decided against it because he bench shoots anyway and a heavy barrel and a heavy stock when you bench shooting is actually probably better in my mind so anyway yeah I don't watch shooting videos I do watch gaming videos I do watch bike videos what videos do you watch I want to watch yeah that's pretty much it I'm not watching porn that's what I'm watching <laughs> anyway let's do some riding I'll be honest, I'm not a fan of this stuff. Getting dragged on the right way, all the bushes and all the mud. But I do prefer the mud to the sand, that's for sure. Damn, man, I hate sand so much. I think it was the 690 that made me hate sand so much. When I had them EO7 Plus tyres on it. Oh, that was some bad juju that was. Yeah, I don't know this lane at all. Ew, the state of that shit. Ugh. Oh, we're back here. So the way you do them big boy bikes, you paddle them fuckers. Because they're super heavy and when they go... Ow, you bastard! <laughs> So probably, I think it's 99.9% .9 of you lot of blokes, what I always do say, ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls. Uh, so for everybody, what other videos do you watch on YouTube, apart from motorbike videos of? Oh, yeah, apart from motorbike vids. I personally like to watch knife making videos, quite partial to the odd restoration video too. Um, yeah, that's what I like to watch. And I'll watch gaming videos, yep. Woo! Mostly Call of Duty videos. And why do I watch Call of Duty videos? Because I flipping love it, that's why. I love it. Yeah, me and my boy play. I quite like Destiny 2 as well, but it's very complicated and I don't understand what I'm doing. But I got the principles of it's a shooter, I get that. I'm good at being a shooter on it. 
but I haven't got very good weapons. I don't know how to get the weapons. I don't know how to make them like everyone else's weapons. Yeah, it's just too confusing. And then, yeah, and me and my boy play Call of Duty together, so that's kind of my passion. We shoot together. I don't watch shooting videos. I seldom do I watch shooting videos. I'm a shooter, I've got guns, I'm a motorbiker, I've got motorbikes, I'm a gamer, I've got game consoles. Um, yeah, I don't watch shooting videos really. I watched a new vid a little while ago on a Bagara a new rifle because my Remington 700 is very heavy and my boy's 12 and I was thinking about getting a gun a little bit more suited to him and the new Bagara, I can't remember the name, it's quite a bit smaller but actually, damn man, it feels like a, a oh, will I get banned for this? It's got like AR weight to it and, mo and mobility. Like there's none of that pendulum swing at the end because of the big heavy barrel and the heavy stock. It's a lovely lightweight barrel and all that, but yeah, uh, I decided against it because he bench shoots anyway. And a heavy barrel and a heavy stock when you're bench shooting is actually probably better in my mind. So anyway, yeah, I don't watch shooting videos. I do watch gaming videos, I do watch bike videos. What videos do you watch? I wanna watch, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm not watching porn, that's what I'm watching. <laughs> anyway. Let's do some riding. I've got to get a new lens. Oh my god. So I wrestled to get the lens out of my Scott goggles. I meant to get a, a, a auto dimming dark light one, whatever they're called, very focused, very light ones. Off of my mate Dev. And I haven't had time. So I went and bought a Scott lens, just a knockoff one for like eight quid. Fitted it. A couple of days later, I was very happy with it, it looked nice, fit well. They're horrible to fit those Scott lenses, the goggles are just horrible to get the plugs out of. Um, oh, I like that, a bit sideways. Got them skills, baby. Yeah, put it in. Lovely, look through it, fitted nice. A couple of days later, I put my helmet on. And my goggles are on my helmet, because I don't wear Scott goggles without help with this helmet. I wear 100%. So I've still got my shitty 100% lens in. Which is quite scratched, I must say. Anyway, yeah. Too high gear. That's gravelly. Careful, I don't get machine gunned. That bike sounds so good. I've read and what I hear, it's actually power wise, it's a lot tamer down low in the revs, whereas some of the other bikes like the T7 are a lot talkier down low, so you'd have to work it more, but actually if you're, I mean it doesn't count for Rupert because Rupert's a very very competent rider, very experienced, not much he hasn't done, um, he's my hero, and um, yes Bush after you, but the uh, yeah, if you were a bit newer, then it might be a little bit better for you because it doesn't have that throttle response or it doesn't have that torque from down low that's going to throw you up in the air. You've really got to rev it a bit more to get it going. Ah, oh, this thing's gone really boring now. We used to go up there. Everyone's buggered off. That's a pipe. It's Chrissy Boy's pipe. Chris hit that once. Virtually wheelie, backflipped, and ended up in the um, in a different town. This 
250 is such a beautiful engine and I've said it in every video I've made when I'm on it not specifically about it yet but it is truly incredible this is a 250 it's so much power <laughs> that's a good one Ew. I think we're all in agreement most people watching this this is one of our favourite lanes me and Chrissy boy raced up and down this a couple of times once holy shit I'm not a pro but it's as close as I've ever come to be in that sort of level we just lost our minds. Woo yeah, we just lost our minds and went for it. Oh, right in the noggin again. Gotta go catch a bush. He's literally just taking his rain jacket off and it's starting to rain. That's the log I went over on the Africa Twin, yay! What's going on? No way! I think he's having a shit, I think he can't hold it. Oh my god, so for the camera, Ollie's having a shit in the woods. <laughs> wow! I said, let's stop the pub, he's like, no, no, I can carry on. I wonder what you were saying back there. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I hope he hasn't taken his newspaper with him. Whoa, fuck, that was big. Holly's gone for a shit in the woods. Oh my god. Uh. Why didn't he go at the cat? Oh, he did go at the calf. See, this is why I have to go for free poos on the way down to wherever we're meeting. Good God, look at that drop. Ah, oh, foot off. Fuck that up. I was telling myself, don't look down. <laughs> and then that happened. This is very dry. When it rains, this is normally really, really bad, but actually it's really good condition at the minute. Woohoo! Uh. Oh, I'm not jumping that one. Wow! I don't want to find out if I can go over that or not yet. Me and Rupert were just talking about how much we uh, both dislike the 690-701 Enduro suspension. Because he's got a 701 and I obviously had the 690. And the stock suspension is utter dog shit, it really is. Like, he never found a position he liked. I never really found a position I liked. I just, I'm not as good as rider as him, so I'm not going to push it as hard and didn't find that. But when you have it compliant, it's too soft, blows through the stroke. Otherwise, it's rock hard and fucking tries to buckaroo you off all the time. It's terrible suspension, that thing. He has spent quite a bit of money on his. 
And I price changed mine for this. That's how I fix everything. That's why I'm single. Bin them off, get a different one. <laughs> yeah, boy. Stay tuned for more relationship advice. Well, ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, we haven't stopped for petrol yet, but I am going to have to call it a day, I think, for Cameron. I might do a little bit more later. You never know, see how I feel. Don't know what the battery status is like and all that shit, and I didn't bring a spare one. Uh, yeah, so let's see what happens. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed Rupert's Aprilia Touareg 660 as much as I have. Uh, I haven't enjoyed it as much as my EXEF 250, I must say, because this thing is the best bike I've ever had. And I'm going to say bar none. Bar none. Yeah, bar none. So, thank you very much for watching, ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls. Uh, I'll catch you in the next one. And just remember, if I don't see you for a week, I see you for a window. It's me like losers.